Hi, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, live from Los Angeles, California. Listen, I only have a few minutes, but I was making my Energize. You know how I feel about making my Energize by myself. I would much rather be making it with you. This is going to be a quick, quick Energize live because I have to be downstairs. I am also making a mess, and I also have no ice this morning. I'll get some when I go downstairs. How are you this morning? Happy Monday. This is going to be quick. I just wanted to say hi because you know if I'm making my Energize, I... I'm unable to make it by myself. So welcome to Energize Live, the Los Angeles edition. And I just, I have to share with you, listen, we did the coolest thing yesterday. We took a live class with Vitas, who is a yoga instructor on um, Beachbody On Demand. And I have been doing yoga with him since I, we've had yoga on Beachbody On Demand. And it, it's literally been, I told Josie yesterday, like I didn't want to make too big of a deal about it. I didn't want to be all like goofy fangirly. Um, but it has been on a bucket list of mine to take a live class with Vitas. And I did that yesterday morning. We did a live yoga class. It's like 70 minutes. So simple, so strong yoga. It was amazing, amazing. So, so that was super cool. And then, of course, on... Saturday, we were at Disney all day. Um, so I'm making my Energize right now. Uh, I'm going to go take a class this morning at uh, a place called Hot 8. It's like a yoga class. But it's like, if you're familiar with core power yoga, I think that is going to be what it's like because it's got like, is anyone, are you familiar with core power yoga? It's like yoga with some weights and then this a little bit of cardio situation. And... We're gonna, I'm going to go take that this morning, so stay tuned for who I'm taking class with. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, so I'm making some energize this morning, and then when I come back from that, because I have a lot of time today while Josie is working, when I come back from that, I am going to go to the hotel gym here and start week eight of Lift More. So I don't want to get too far behind because tomorrow's a travel day. My flight tomorrow morning is at 7 a.m. It means it leaves at 7 a.m., which means I'll have to be at the airport at like 5. I'm have to leave airport. Like, you know what I mean? So there's no way on God's green earth that I'm going to do a workout when I get home tomorrow at like 4 p.m. So after I do class this morning and get all, you know, warmed up and loosey-goosey, then I'm going to, when I get back here, I'm going to go to the hotel gym. I have no ice this morning. There are no ice machines in this hotel. You have to go down to the lobby and they have a freezer in their pantry where you get like a bag of ice and bring it up to your room. I've never seen anything like it. And I wonder if it's just because water's kind of at a premium in California, maybe. I don't know, but I have no ice. I just put my water in the fridge last night, so at least my water is cold, but I'm gonna try and get ice when I go downstairs. So crazy. So a question that I get asked is, have I done anything so far that anyone has questions on? Have I done anything um, Disney? Do you have any Disney questions? I don't, that sounded so... Oh my gosh, let me show you this. I hope you can see this. Jeez, I only have a few minutes, but let me show you. Here's the view that I have from my room. Look, can you see? I want to show you. See, look, the sun um, off that building. Isn't that so pretty? We had the most gorgeous sunset last night so pretty behind the buildings it's been kind of cloudy the past couple days so it was so lovely to have a beautiful sunset last night the sun is rising on the other side and you can see it off that building right there isn't that so pretty um so we were at disney all day on saturday i mean i flew on friday i kind of occupied myself um friday i did i walked down to rodeo drive as one does and uh, went to Air One grocery store, got food, just, you know, went to, went to Lululemon, as one does, um, that kind of stuff. We had dinner at this amazing vegan place Friday night, very um, bougie and cool. And then Saturday was Disney all day. Yesterday we did that live class with Vetus, which was, listen, I was totally, it was so good. It was so good. And then... We did Santa Monica, Santa Monica Pier. Uh, we did Melrose all of yesterday, which was so fun. Um, and then today I'm going to do class. I, I got stuff to do during the day. I got some work to do. And then tonight we're going to a concert at the Hollywood Bowl. So I'm very excited about that.
listen, it's fine. It doesn't have ice, but it's fine, right? And I just did a daily dose of real talk on this because this is a question. Sorry, we have, you know what? Hotel rooms are just messy, aren't they? No matter what you do. Let's move this out of the way. Okay, no matter what you do, they're just kind of messy. I just did a daily dose of real talk on this topic because this is a question that I get all the time. A question that I get all the time is this. How do you stay on track when you travel? And when they ask that, when someone asks me that, they mean with their health and fitness. Like, how do you stay on track with your health and fitness when you travel? It's literally, it's the same reaction I have when someone says to me, how do you stay motivated? I'm, I'm like, I don't understand the question. <laughs> How do you stay on track when you travel? Because my habits and my choices, this is why the Compass Planner works, because my habits and my choices are so directly connected to my goals and my dreams and the, the life that I want to live, the life that I want to live in the present and the life that I'm also creating. My habits and my goals, or my habits and my, my choices are so connected to my goals and my dreams and the vision that I have for the life that I'm living and that I'm creating that it doesn't make any sense to me that when I, just because I leave my house, what, just because I leave my house, I don't drink Energize anymore. Just because I leave my house, I already have it over here packed with me. Just because I leave my house, I don't drink my Shakeology anymore. Just because I leave my house, I don't do a workout anymore. Just because I leave my house, I, I don't, like, we have, like, seeing it right here, I was moving this right now, like, we've got, you know, some little snacks, I've got food, we went to the grocery, I've got some food in my refrigerator, vegan food and stuff in my refrigerator, um, bought some water, so it stay hydrated, like, I just, I don't understand the question, and I think we get way too precious and we make it way too hard. The key is, are your habits and your choices aligned with the life you both want to live and that you want in, in the future and that you're living right now? Period. Are they? And if they are, then it doesn't, like, it's just such an, a non-issue to me. And I don't mean to make light, and I certainly don't want to sound condescending. I'm telling you that that's why the planner works, but I'm telling you that's why that linear connection between what you do every day and the life you want to create, the habits you have today are literally creating your future. The habits you have today are creating your future. So if you leave your home and suddenly you don't eat well or you don't move your body or you don't hydrate, that will play into the future that you live. And we want to make it so hard. So let me go back. How, hold on. How do I deal with lack of access to healthy foods of what I want in the park? Um, I'm assuming it's Kristen. Kristen, I, I'm a, I, I listen. I know this is going to sound condescending, and I, I honestly, intentionally, I do not mean for it to sound condescending. I literally do not understand the question. How do I? I don't. I'm not dealing with lack of access. I'm seeking out what I want to find. My phone right now. <laughs> It's sitting on um, a jar of healthy trail mix. <laughs> That's what my phone is sitting on that I bought on Friday as soon as I got here. I got these crackers because because um, I have a very sensitive stomach. Very sensitive. I had a little episode on Saturday where um, it's just my digestive system it just is what it is. And we, we work with it. We do what we can. But I got these. These are... Um, low gluten, they're yeast free, and see what they say, easy digest. Okay, so I've got those here in my room. I have a kale white bean salad that is in here. I've got water, um, I've got some, I bought some Hue chocolate for a little bit of, but I also brought, of course I brought my Shakeology and blah, blah, but I also brought my gut happy cookies with me. Like I don't travel with all, without all my stuff, you know? So I believed whether it comes to nutrition, fitness, life, whatever, it doesn't matter. You will find what you're seeking. You will find what you're looking for. And if you're not, if you're looking for healthy food, you'll find, I also bought these, I bought these at Air One yesterday. These are um, a raw Zatara cracker. I have these, so I'll have, so I'll just, you know, my food is in my room today. And so I, when, when I say that, I know it sounds 
unintentionally condescending because, and I, I can't control how someone receives it. I can only control how I'm sending it, the, this message, but I honestly don't understand why we make it harder than it is. And especially in California, my Lanta, the food here is so exceptional. I can't even. And if you, um, are so deeply connected to your goals and your dreams, and those include health and wellness, which they should, because your goals and dreams don't matter unless you're healthy enough to enjoy them, right? You're gonna find a grocery store, you're gonna find a Whole Foods, you're gonna find a Publix, you're gonna find an Air One, you're gonna find a place and you're gonna go there and you're gonna put food in your room and you're, not, and you're going on about your day and you're not gonna worry about it. So I, I don't mean for that to sound like <sighs> rude. It literally is a decision. Yes, Adriana, it literally is a decision. And I, I just don't seek out things that aren't healthy. So literally when I'm walking, let's say we're at the park. Let's say we're at the park, okay? And I'm walking by and there's all the food stands. The I don't even see them. They don't even register with me. Because a giant turkey leg does not align with my goals and dreams. It does not align with the kind of life that I want to live or how I want to feel. So it doesn't even register with me. And I will go in the confectionery and I will thoroughly enjoy looking at all the incredible treats that they've made. And I, it doesn't even occur to me that I should buy one. So I travel with food. I get to a grocery store as soon as I get here and um, it, it, I don't even, it doesn't occur to me to, to not be on track. And I'm going to push back a little bit on that too, Krista, it's not hard. Because when you think of it as being hard, you've made it hard. That's a story that you're telling yourself, Megan, are you right? A giant turkey leg, what? Um, no. That's a hard, I've seen all I need to see. I, that, that's a no, I've seen all I need to see. It's not hard. That's a story you're telling yourself. Honestly, that's a story you're telling yourself. And when you tell yourself that nutritious food that aligns with your goals and dreams is available to you, you will find it. Morning, Jeff. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, oh, Jenny, shocking. You're driving. I'm so shocked that you're on your phone when you're driving. <laughs> So I just, I just get that, you know, that was something I wanted to address really quick. Oh my God, I have to, I do have to wrap up because I have to be down in the lobby in a minute. Um, it was something I just wanted to address really quick because that is a question I get all the time when I travel. How do you stay on track? And it comes down to this. Truly, it comes down to this. I have goals, I have dreams, I have a vision for the life that I want to live both now in the present and in the future. I have a way that I want to feel and function in my life. I want to feel calm. I want to feel competent. I want to feel good in my skin. I want to feel strong. I want, I want to enjoy every bit of where I am, whether it's here in California, whether I'm going to the parks in, in Florida, whether I'm traveling out to Arizona for a conference, whether I'm going to DC to see my daughter, whether I'm on a cruise ship to see my other daughter, like all, all of it, I want to feel my absolute best when I'm doing all that because life's too short to not feel good. Let's just bring it back to that. Yesterday was September 11th. Life's too short to not feel good. Life's too short to make stuff harder than it has to be. Life's too short. We don't, nothing's guaranteed. Nothing's guaranteed. I want to, when I travel and, and have all these new incredible experiences, to feel and function my best. I want to create my life on purpose of purpose. That includes how I feel. So I align my choices and my habits with how I feel. And then I don't uh, dramatize it or emotionalize it. Is that a word? I don't dramatize it. I don't emotionalize it. Yes, Krista, it is it's absolutely at its core believing that you are worth having goals and dreams. So yes, that's a beautiful connection. Yes, that you, you go back to understanding and knowing and acknowledging and embracing that you are worth having goals and dreams in the first place. So therefore you're worth those healthy habits that align to those goals and dreams, whatever they are, right? Whatever they are. So whether they are health and fitness related, 
that's the question I get the most. That's kind of why I'm, I'm focusing on that. You know, that, um, that's the question that I get the most. Um, also my daughter's texting me right now saying, OMG stop. So I don't know what, go look at the reel that she made this morning. Okay. Everyone needs to go look at the reel that Jesse Boris made this morning. Cause she's texting me right now telling me to go look at it. So it must be something spectacular. Um, so anyway, I know we didn't have very long. This is something we need to talk about when we get back, when I get back to Florida. This whole idea of staying on track. And um, Krista, I, I actually love, this sounds, maybe this sounds a little dramatic <laughs> after just talking about not being dramatic. Krista, I actually love <clears throat> the little journey that you went on <laughs> in these few minutes of it's so hard to await. Oh, I'm actually worth it. Like you went on this little journey over the past few minutes. And I I love that so much. Habits and goals don't go on vacation. You know why? Because my goals and dreams and the vision for the life that I want to live, that doesn't take a day off. The goals and the dreams that I have and the vision that I have for the life that I want to live, that doesn't take a day off. So neither do my habits and my choices. And I would rather make healthy choices that align with my goals and dreams and feel better than make not so healthy choices and feel like crap because I will definitely pay the price. I will definitely pay the price. I want to have energy and excitement and enthusiasm to take in everything that I'm experiencing in whatever new place I am. I want to feel good when I'm doing it. And I want to go back home knowing that I, that I made good choices that align with my goals. And that's how I stay on track. Honestly, I, I don't make it any harder than, than that. Okay, so I have to go. Let me grab my, my, my Birkenstocks and I got to get my shirt. And um, I got to get downstairs because my ride is coming. We're going to go take a class this morning. I'm very excited about that. And go check out today's Daily Dose of Real Talk. It kind of condenses all this into like less than a minute. I've got my Energize. I already had my first thing. This is how I traveled with it. We can talk about that when I get back home too. This is how I traveled with the first thing. I got my Energize. I got my water. Let's go. Let's get this day started, all right? So go have an awesome Monday. Go make it an awesome Monday. Stay aligned with your your goals. Stay aligned with your choices. Make some magic today. And we will we'll catch up with the live probably on Wednesday, all right? Have a great Wednesday.